We are following major breaking news in the trial for the three men charged with killing Ahmad Arbery. He is the 25-year-old black man who was jogging through this Georgia neighborhood last year. He was chased by those men who are all white before being shot and killed. Now, jurors in Brunswick, Georgia, deliberating for about 10 hours, ultimately convicting all three defendants. That trial becoming part of a larger national reckoning on racial injustice. Now, Greg McMichael, his son Travis McMichael, and their neighbor, William Roddy Bryan all found guilty of felony murder. Travis McMichael, that's the man who pulled the trigger, he was found guilty on all charges. So here's a breakdown of those charges. One count of malice murder, four counts of felony murder, two counts of aggravated assault, false imprisonment, and criminal attempt to commit a felony. All three face a minimum sentence of life in prison. And we do have a team of correspondents in Brunswick. Evan Lambert will show us the reaction outside the courthouse when the verdict came in. Janelle Fort spoke one-on-one -on -one with Ahmad Arbery's father, but we begin with Tom Negevin with a breakdown of the trial and today's verdict, Tom. And Nicole, they weren't all convicted of all the counts they were charged with, but they were all convicted of murder, and that's a count that can carry the death penalty here in the state of Georgia, depending on the circumstances and whether prosecutors call for it, which in this case they did not. On the stand, defendant Travis McMichael testified that Ahmad Arbery charged at him on February 23rd, 2020, grabbing for his shotgun, leaving him with no choice, he told the jury, but to open fire. Jurors deliberating for about 10 and a half hours before finding him guilty on all nine counts, including malice murder and four counts of felony murder. His father, Gregory McMichael, a former police officer here, and William Bryan, their neighbor, also found guilty of murder. Bryan, the one who recorded that now infamous video of the deadly encounter on his phone, an emotional moment in court this afternoon as the first guilty verdict was read. A hoot and a fist bump from Arbery's father that got him in a bit of trouble with the judge. Jury verdict form. Count one, malice murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Oh. I'm going to ask that whoever just made an outburst be removed from the court, please. So that moment of jubilation, as you heard, leading to a quick rebuke from Judge Timothy Walmsley, because it bore the burden of proving these defendants guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, the prosecution got the last word during this trial, wrapping up rebuttal arguments, two days of them just yesterday, by telling the jury you can't claim self-defense if you're the aggressor. The jury system works in this country, mm -hmm. and when you present the truth to people and they can see it, Right. They will do the right thing. That's and right. that's what this jury did today right. in getting justice for Ahmaud Arbery. Uh, these are two men who honestly believed that what they were doing was the right thing to do. But we also recognize that this is a day of celebration for the Arbery family. We cannot tear our eyes away from the way that they feel about this. And we understand that they feel they have gotten justice today. We respect that. We honor that because we honor this jury trial system. Now, all three men now face minimum sentences of life in prison. It's up to the judge to decide whether that includes the possibility of parole when they are sentenced. They're being held in custody awaiting sentencing, Nicole. But once that process is done, their defense team promises they will appeal. All right, so speaking of the defense team there, Tom, they claim this was a case of those three men trying to make a citizen's arrest. So what's the law on that? The citizen's arrest law actually has changed as a direct result of this case, Nicole. George's governor repealing that law last spring because of this case, becoming the first governor in the United States to do so. It was a vague law, but it was the law at that time. Problem with it was there was apparently no crime, no evidence of a crime, no witness to a crime committed by Mr. Arbery. And that was the testimony that came out during the latter stages of this trial. All right, so let's focus back on the three now found guilty. What about federal hate crime charges? Well, they're facing those two actually right now, and that is among the next steps along with the appeal. They go to federal court in less than three months. That trial 
It's another trial. It gets underway on February 7th. The Department of Justice has charged them with civil rights violations based on Ahmaud Arbery's race, violating his civil rights, attempting to kidnap him. And that's a trial that could also result in a life sentence, Nicole. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.